What's good, YouTube? It's your favorite old head, old head Uncle Twin, Jerry's Twin. We back with another video. And today, hey, happy 2K demo day to y'all boys, man. But you know, I gotta show y'all how to come through with the goaded sharp rim build. A lot of y'all been hitting me up when uh, how you make the sharp rim, you can figure out how to make the sharp rim. It's giving you like rebounding rims and rim rebounders, all of that. But you know, I'm finna show you. So on your skill breakdown, you have to go to the red and the green. That's shooting and defense. Physical profile, go to the one that's like even, you know, it's split up in thirds. Click that joint, okay? So now on your attributes, you know, you can you can play with this a little bit. I'ma just show y'all what I did on here. Of course, I put my I put my three-pointer and stuff all the way up, but you see, like I'm playing around with my shot close, playing around. You know, with my driving dunk, I don't want to make it, you know, it only give you so many, so many attribute upgrades. So, you know, you got to use them wisely. You know, if you're trying to make a shot rim, you're not trying to make a post score or, you know, a playmaker. Stop the jokes. Free throw. We just need, need a little bit of free throw. Not, not too much free throw. Post fade. You know, we ain't got to go crazy on the post fade either. But, you know, we got to make sure we get as many shooting badges as possible. And then we need the defensive badges. We don't really need all of the rebounding badges, but we do need the defense. So we're gonna play around a little bit with the pass accuracy. You know, we make we making the demi guy here. Like we making the goaded bill for everybody that want to make the sharp rim this year. Now, of course, they did away with like just picking generic archetypes. You know, choosing two archetypes and it automatically make you a sharp rim. So you pretty much have have to build it. You know what I'm saying? They let you choose your takeover. So based on your attributes and everything determines what type of takeover you're gonna have. So you see I got I got a little bit left, you know, I gotta play around with the play around with the rebounding. See how high how high I need to rebound. Like I got nine, nine caps left. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what we're gonna do with these last with these last little few. You know what I'm saying? Tinkle, tinkle a little bit. Now you could change, you could change some of this. I'm just showing you what I did, you know what I'm saying, what I did on my build. Just to try to get it, you know, exactly, exactly how I want it. You know, you gotta double check, double check, make it twice. You know what I'm saying, as far as the body type, I think I just went, you know what I'm saying, I think I just went like solid or something like that. You know what I'm saying, don't gotta be no behemoth out here. Stop it, define, wait, well, define, yeah, now for my height, I went, you know, you got the option. I went 6'11 on my height, not seven foot. And for my weight, I noticed this year you can go higher on weight without it affecting, you know, your speed and stuff. So my interior defense is actually going up. So I stopped at, you know, 253. Now I had to go down two on my wingspan. Now look, down two on the wingspan gave me the sharp shooting takeover. When it was regular, I couldn't get it. If I went up, I couldn't get it. So I had to go down two to 86 in order to get the sharp shooting takeover on this build. So now it still says that I'm a paint defender, but I'm a paint defender, AKA rim protector, but I have sharp shooting takeover. Same thing, that's what you want. And my sharp shooting or my three point attribute is a 73, which for those of y'all who know, last year I only had a 60, a 66, and you gotta have a 73, it looks like, in order to get the sharp shooting takeover on this build. Now as far as my finishing badges, only got three, so just saying what we're gonna put on here, probably don't need no giant slayer. Um, put back boss, that's probably a good, good badge, you know, if you're getting, if you're getting rebounds. Um, a few good badges in here. Contact finishing, you might you might want to go with that. Acrobat, I don't know. Deep hooks, you might want to go deep hooks. You know what I'm saying? So you got sharp shit in your build. Get your little deep hook. You know if you can get a, you know what I'm saying, a deep hook. Consistent finisher. Since the, you know what I'm saying, since your driving layup is not that high, you know you might want to add the consistent finisher badge. That's what I did on mine. Let's see what else we got. One more. One more to choose from here. Uh, put back boss. Yeah, get that put back boss. So you get them rebounds. You know what I'm saying? You can go right up. Now, shooting. Now, if it's the same and your badges go up a notch, 
once you get like to 99, if they're gonna up your badges, you know what I'm saying? Then I wouldn't put Hall of Fame badges, especially not on a shooter. So I'm just playing around, you know, catch and shoot, need that corner specialist, need that pick and popper, need that, you know what I'm saying, range extender, formerly known as limitless range. You know what I'm saying? We need that. Dead eye. I feel like that's a good that's a good badge to have. Deep phase, probably not gonna be shooting deep phase. I mean if you want to, you can, but this is just what I did on did on my build. Still playing around a little bit. Volume shooter. Don't really know if you need volume shooter. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a stretch. You know, it's still defense primary. You know what I'm saying? Highest attributes are on defense. So but you can play around, you can play around with this as much as you want, see what I did. On my playmaking, only got one playmaking badge. Let's see what we're gonna put it on. Should we put it on post spin, first step? You know what I'm saying? That first step badge, you know, I like getting them blow by, especially if a, a slower, bigger defender is on me. You know what I'm saying? Quick first step, that's a good badge. Needle threader, aka the Stevie, the Stevie badge. You might need that joint, so. They got Needle Threader available. Fake Pass Maestro, one, probably not gonna use that joint. But you know, I like I like getting the blow bys. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bigger defender, so I go with the quick, quick first step badge. You know what I'm saying? It's an OP badge. Now as far as my defense, you know what I'm saying you're you're a rim protector, so you know you know what your job is. Your job is rim protection. Um, defensive leader, uh, depending depending on what you're playing. You playing. You're playing threes, you're playing twos, you making it for career. You know, win protector, of course, we need that. Post move lockdown, definitely, definitely need that. Especially if you're playing the 1v1 and all this stuff. Yeah, I think that post that post move lockdown badge is gonna be nice. Real nice. Real nice. Rebound chaser, you know my rebound attributes are not that high. Rebound chaser can help out. Um, pickpocket. Pickpocket can help out clamps. Now this clamps badge said it was for perimeter, ball headed on perimeter. So like I said, these badges you can kind of play around with. And then from what I hear, after you hit 95, you can like change up your badges. Um, so this is just a this is just a start, just to give y'all some sort of template. You know how to make how to make the sharp rim trapper. You know that's more of a badge for like. Pro am and career stuff like that. Lightning reflexes, formerly known as quick reflexes. That's probably a good one. Intimidator, definitely a good badge to have. You know, I'm thinking that's gonna that's gonna do a lot of good. Of course, the we talked about the rebound chaser, but you know, silver rim protector. Feel like we need that at least gold, cause you know, at 99 if it goes up to Hall of Fame, yeah, pickpocket, pick dodger, need that, get around them brick walls, tireless defender, you know what I'm saying, save some of that stamina, clamps, that's for the perimeter, we'd rather have chase down, chase down and clamps, you know what I'm saying, defensive leader, yeah, if I'm gonna be playing the twos, I'd rather put that on chase down too, so yeah, this, this is how I did, this is how I did, you know what I'm saying, my badges, you know what I'm saying? We still don't know as far as the rep reward, so they're gonna get bumped up one. How they gonna do that? But I'm looking at these, thinking, thinking these look, thinking these look pretty solid right here. Pretty solid right here. Now on this screen here, you can change your jump shot. I didn't choose, you know, I didn't choose my jump shot because you know I'm a goat and I'm out here with my boy Kyle Lowry. You know, long arm bash activated. But let's see what we can do with this build though, man. Let's see what we can do real quick. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't gonna play a whole game. Just see if we can get one bed today. We get a bed today, then we out. Come on, Curry. Come on, Curry. Straight my, oh yeah, them clamps. Them clamps, straight my, look how I'm moving. My player's still fast. I feel like my lateral quickness is good. Oh yeah, you better pass that up. You gotta pass that up. Come on, come on with it. Come on, Clay, Clay, oh, bed today. Clay, you like that, Clay? Straight out the gate? Come on, Cal. Let's see what this pick and pop talking about. Oh, yeah. What's that? Air screen. Stop it. We still gonna pull those. Oh, yeah. Big white draws. Don't worry about it. We're trying to see what this release is. I don't even know what jump shot this is. Don't worry. I get a couple shots in. That timing gonna be what it's gonna be. Come on. Let's go. Oh, push the, push the break? Hold up. Ice on me up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold up. 
Oh, Lordy. Y'all want to see a magic trick? I got a magic trick for y'all. Abracadabra.